Hi everyone, this is Ethan Dre with another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be covering dodging and burning non-destructively. First, let's talk about what dodging and burning mean. Dodging and burning are photographic techniques used in film photography. To dodge is to lighten specific areas of a photo by limiting the exposure to the light-sensitive paper. Dodging is great for lightening pixels that are underexposed. Burning refers to darkening specific areas of a photograph by increasing the exposure to the light-sensitive paper. Burning is great for darkening overexposed pixels. Dodging and burning are also great for leading a viewer's eye to the focal point. Now within Photoshop there are dodging and burning tools, however they don't work non-destructively. By non-destructively, I mean we're going to be able to go back and edit anything that we dodge and burn, whereas with our tools in Photoshop that allow us to dodge and burn, work directly on the layer. Of course we can always undo or go back in our history, but it's much easier to work in a non-destructive way. The first thing we're going to do is go up to Layer, New, Layer, or Command, Shift, N. Or we can always hit Control, Shift, N if we're working on a PC. We're going to name this first layer Dodge, and it's really important that we go to Mode and change our mode to Overlay. Overlay is a contrast layer blend mode, and the way it works is it ignores any pixels that are 50% gray, and it darkens the dark tones and it lightens the light tones. So we're also going to check the box Fill with Overlay Neutral Color 50% Gray. As I mentioned before, the overlay mode ignores any pixels that are 50% gray or mid-tone. And notice whenever we create this layer, our layer thumbnail is gray, letting us know that it has been filled with 50% neutral gray. Next, we're going to want to go over to our toolbox and go to our brush tool or keyboard shortcut B. We want to check our paintbrush settings and make sure that we're on soft round brush. That way we don't have any hard edges whenever we're dodging and burning. I also like to start out with my opacity between 10 and 20% because it's a lot easier to add a little bit at a time as opposed to going back and returning to our 50% gray tone and restarting. I also turn the flow down for softer edges while I'm dodging and burning. The next thing you want to check is while you're dodging and burning you'll be using the colors black and white. Obviously if you're dodging you're going to be using the color white because you're lightening the image. If you're burning, you're going to be using the color black because you're darkening the image. So we have our dodge layer selected and we have white set to our foreground color. Let's go ahead and start dodging areas of this photograph to lighten them up. I'm mainly going to focus on this street in the middle because it's pretty dark and shadowed by the skyscrapers. So we're just going to lighten that up a little bit at a time. The other nice thing about the non-destructive dodge and burn layer is that you can hide the visibility of the layer to see if you're improving your photograph. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add a burn layer, and you can always work on the same layer to dodge and burn, but I find it a lot easier if you just have two separate layers. That way you can turn the opacity down on one and edit another one if you want to, and you don't have to worry about ruining what you've dodged or what you've burned. We're going to name this new layer burn, and remember that mode we want to set it to overlay because it ignores the 50% gray or the mid-tone pixels and we want to fill with overlay neutral color 50% gray. Now remember burning is to darken certain areas of the photo so we want to change our foreground color to black and we're going to do what's referred to as burning down the sky. Okay so I'm just going to increase the diameter of my brush by using my right bracket on the keyboard and we're going to start painting over top of this sky and darkening it up a little bit and it's going to bring a lot more detail to these clouds and it's also going to emphasize these skyscrapers a bit more. Now notice as I'm dodging and burning you can see in your layer thumbnail where you're actually dodging and burning. You can see the darker tones or the lighter tones in your layer thumbnail where you've dodged and burned. Let's go ahead and hide our burn layer and you'll notice how much more detail is actually brought into the image by burning that sky. We see a lot more shadows in the clouds and they're a lot more defined as well. Now let's say for whatever reason you accidentally dodge or burn something and you want to go back and return it to the original 50% gray. So this is looking pretty rough so I'm going to go over to my foreground color and we're just going to change our RGB values to 128. By changing each of our RGB values to 128, this returns us back to 50% gray. 
and we're just going to turn our opacity back to 100 and we can paint over top whatever we want to go back to the original 50% gray tone. And you'll notice the burn layer thumbnail has returned back to gray as well. This is what makes the non-destructive dodge and burn so much better than the dodge and burn tools that come with Photoshop. Alright everybody, that was today's tutorial on dodging and burning non-destructively. We reviewed the definitions of dodge and burn and what they might be good for. And we also reviewed adding non-destructive dodge and burn layers and using them to darken certain areas of the photo and lighten certain areas of the photo. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on dodging and burning. As always, thank you for watching and please check back for more.